Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to edit a PDF document using Google Docs. So let's say you have a PDF file here and you open it and you have, you know, Adobe Acrobat Reader. And of course, you know, you can highlight the text, but you can't, you know, do anything with it unless you have your know, Acrobat Pro or some other type of PDF editing software, which could be kind of pricey. So what you can do is you could take that file here and you could dump it into your Google Drive. And it's uploaded or drag and drop it in there. Okay, then we'll just find it here, double click it, and then you'll see you have an option here to open with Google Docs. Otherwise, it'll just open a preview of the file here, and then you could uh, you know, do the same thing as you can in your reader. But if you do open with Google Docs, it'll open a new tab. And now you can see it's opened up in the Google Docs editor, and you can do things like, you know, let's say we want to change the color here. change this to 2022, and so on. And now, once you notice also, if you go back to your Google Docs, let's get, get this out of the way, you have the uh, file automatically saved as a Google Docs file here. So here's the PDF, and here's the one that we have right here, which is now open here. And now, obviously, if, you know, if you want to make it back, save it back as a PDF, uh, you could just, you know, print to PDF or use whatever PDF uh, creation software you use to do that. Most likely, you know, if, you, if you're running Windows, then you could just use the Microsoft print to PDF option and just print it back as a PDF, and then you'll have your uh, edited PDF. So, you know, some PDFs that'll work better than others, like if it has a bunch of pictures and columns and weird formatting, when you open it in Google Docs, it might look a little funky. So this is better just for kind of straightforward documents like this. So once again, just drag it into your Google Drive, open it, um, by double-clicking it, then click on the option on top that says Open with Google Docs, and then you'll be able to change it. And then, like I said, it'll save us as a Google Docs file with the same name, and then you can just print that to PDF if you need it back as a PDF file. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.